This game contains scenes of sexual violence, gore, and suicide. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi folks, and welcome back to Outlast 2. And when last we left off, we finally made it to the chapel. Dark and dangerous things happen there, and now we find ourselves having to locate a mine. A mine! Lord only knows where one will find said mine. Hopefully it's in a relatively linear path. Oh my days. I tell you what, they went full ball when making this one, didn't they? Although, it's still not quite as disturbing as the Whistleblower DLC for the first game. Not yet, anyway. It's bad. But my god. That Whistleblower DLC. Mind you, I, I, I gotta say, I thoroughly enjoyed the first game. This one's alright so far. Not entirely sold on the... the um, the run and hide aspect of you get being chased by villagers. You don't seem to be able to get away from them like you could the uh, the other guys in the asylum. But it could just be the fact that I'm crap. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the case, let's be honest. Yep, and there we go. We ain't going back that way, folks. I did not mean to double tap. So, we've got Mr. Machete down there. That means we're going to have uh, villagers to avoid. Always good fun, isn't it? I don't mind the avoiding aspect, so long as you can. Or that there is a way to do so. Some of the times, they, like, pigeonhole you into getting found. I don't think I want to... Jesus H. Christ, tell me they're dolls. But someday you wake up in hell. Let's just shut you in there. Okay, what have we got here? Chapter 2. Wherefore, gird up the loins of you that would listen. Ready your mind, be open and sober in patience for revelation, obedient as children to parents, as parents to the prophets, as the prophets to God and his angels. For as much as ye know that ye were not made incorruptible by incorruptible gold, so are the lies of tradition received from your fathers. Received not by immaculate blood, the line of Adam corrupted beyond salvation by the line of Cain, circumcised but stiff-necked, uncircumcised of heart, and ill-grown of your father's lust, who verily defiled the revelations of Abraham and of Jesus of Nazareth, and of Abu al Kazim, Muhammad ibn Abd Allah ibn Abd al Mafalib. Damn, I did not mean to put that down. Uh, ibn Hazim, thou hell bound Jews, thou hell bound Christians, thou hell bound Muslims, who saw damnation in weight of reaping. But receive not the vain conversation of your fathers, 
and pass the time of your sojourning in fear, not fashioning yourselves in ignorant lust. And when called to account by the Father, defend his heaven, and by the spilling of the heart's blood of the spider-eyed lamb, the enemy, the unborn prince of lies, for trust unto him whom it was revealed, be ye holy, for I am holy. Okay, we're back in some kind of cornfield. I mean, this may work to our favour. On the edge. Okay, we've got some loud music. Oh shit. Okay, this. This is some fucked up shit. Fair, I may be putting my batteries into liberal use territory. I don't want you to go back into the bushes, mate. Let's see if I can hide in there for a minute. I mean, this is a really obvious place to hide.
figure out how to stop this thing. Music, mate. I have places I can hide, and that doesn't fill me with joy, let me tell you. That should hopefully stop that from spinning. This is where the crazy lady with a fucking pickaxe shows up. Okay, they're not following me down, which, uh, that doesn't bode well. That freaking whistling music sound is generally the pickaxe ladies territory hate being right. I could fit through that if I could get the gate open. Something that I'm supposed to use isn't in here. We 
because that would be just too easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to go back out here. I'm going to crawl through the long grass to get to where I need to go. Shit's about to hit the fan, yo. There's no way to open that fence. Maybe there's another way around. Okay, Marta. Marta, my last beloved. No, my best beloved. My hound, my avenging angel. Val has betrayed Temple Gate has betrayed God, has betrayed me. Look deep into the heart of all you hate and make it violent to punish that festering apostate pig fuck. Val must suffer and beg for forgiveness that you deny. Val must die in the darkness, utterly devoid of God's love. All who have joined Val must die begging for the mercy you have purged from your heart. Let God be merciful. You will be only wrath. Papa loves you. God forgives you. Not.
This ain't gonna go down well, is it? Well, that's been closed. Ah. <laughs> I hope she gets a decent uh, death. A good old painful one, you know? One that involves, uh, you know, screaming in vain. Because let me tell you, pain in my ass. More annoying than uh, the, uh, the Chris Walker chat. Put the hairs up on my neck. I'm in the child. God, Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, and of We are not fucking around here. What am I supposed to do? 
Oh, there's a fucking chase. <laughs> Just kill me, bitch. <laughs> An unnecessary way to kill somebody, I must say. Ah, shit! Yeah, don't mind if I do. Going to her. Good lord. <coughs> Ow. Ow. Do I not go that way? What? Is this a bug? Oh, maybe I've got to walk up there backwards? What the hell, mate? Dear Martyr, my best beloved and... My best beloved, most trusted, my intimate companion since your childhood, I know your faith is imperfect. I know that old worm doubt gnaws at your heart and tears wash your cheeks. You think you sin and murder, but dear me, but hear me as I have told you every way I know how. You would only sin if you stayed your hand. If you do not chain a rabid dog, are you not responsible for the children the bitch attacks? If you do not... it, If you do know... Crush the spider in your infant's crib, are you not responsible for the venomous bite? If you leave a fire unchecked, are you not responsible for every innocent burnt? In every case, sloth would make you a murderer. You would not need lift a finger and still be a terrible killer in the mind of God. Just as every life you do not take that could even maybe defeat the enemy, who would murder and rape the whole wide world is killing by, s by sloth. For the enemy is surely rabid and venomous and a hungry inferno. Hold fast. Push the knife. You need no forgiveness because you do not sin. Know that Temple Gate needs you. Know that I love you. That God loves you. Not. Fucking weirdos, mate. I found her hanging. Wake up, wake up. I'm still here.
Jess used to play. The other half Christ. of this must be somewhere. Jessica would have left the hangman somewhere for Lynn to find. Why exactly? Uh, let's see if the old camera will actually pick this up. I don't see how this would work. You know, this is all in his head, surely. Alright, fine. Don't let me in. That looked like that shadow. That looked like the wind walker thing. Uh, what is it? Oh, I forgot the name of the beastie in the first one. the other half. Now the letters are not lined up. Unforgivable. So, the death was unforgivable. I can't interact with that anymore, I don't think. No. So I guess the guy out this door get jumped. I mean, I know they're trying to tell two stories at once here. actually die in this fucking dream state?
Christ. Got me fucking good though. Bar manager, press F1 for help. Ah. <sighs> uh, there it is. Frames dying. Frames dying a death. Um, yeah, he needs to get his shit together. The hell? Right. With regards of getting one shit together, I'm going to get my shit together in the next installment of Outlast. Too, because uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a good place to stop. Uh, that that yeah, that school section did don't get me good. I can't remember the name of the the smoky thing that was floating around in the first one. But every time we go into that dream sequence, it's like that. Um. That those shadows and stuff. It could just be his memories all being shady and stuff, but yeah. Anyway, folks, y'all take it easy. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next one. Take it easy, folks. Bye bye.